Welcome to the .NET Way. This is episode 8 of our C-Sharp interview series, where we dive into real-world questions and practical answers to help you prepare for .NET interviews. In episode 7, we covered inheritance, method overriding, and the base keyword. Today, we'll explore two critical building blocks in C-Sharp, interfaces and abstract classes, including their similarities, differences, and when to use them. Let's welcome our candidate, Sanya, and begin the discussion. Sanya, can you start by explaining what an interface is in c -sharp? Sure. An interface is a contract that defines a set of method and property signatures. It doesn't contain any implementation. Classes that implement the interface must provide the actual logic with the abstract classes in the implementation. What about an abstract class? An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated. It can have both abstract methods, which have no implementation, and non-abstract methods, which do. It serves as a base for other classes. Can interfaces have implementations? In older versions of C-Sharp, no. But starting from C-Sharp 8.0, interfaces can include default implementations using the default keyword. What are the key differences between an interface and an abstract class? The main differences are, an interface has only declarations while an abstract class can have both declarations and implementations. A class can implement multiple interfaces, but inherit from only one abstract class. Interfaces support multiple inheritance. Abstract classes do not. When should we use an interface instead of an abstract class? Use interfaces when you want to define a contract that multiple unrelated classes can implement especially for loose coupling and testability. And when is it better to use an abstract class? Use abstract classes when you want to provide a base class with some shared code and enforce a structure using abstract members. Can a class implement more than one interface? Yes, c -sharp allows a class to implement multiple interfaces. For example, class printer colon I print comma I scan. Inside curly braces, the class must implement all the members from both interfaces. Can interfaces inherit from other interfaces? Yes. One interface can inherit from one or more other interfaces. It helps in building a layered or extended contract. What happens if a class doesn't implement all methods of an interface? The compiler will throw an error. A class must fully implement all members of the interface unless it's declared as abstract. Can you give a real-world example of using interfaces and abstract classes? Sure. For example, you can define an logger interface with a log method. Different classes like file logger and database logger implement it. Meanwhile, an abstract class shape might define a draw method with some default behavior. And derived classes like circle or rectangle override it. Brilliant answers, Sanya. That wraps up episode 8 of the c -sharp interview series. We covered the theory and practical differences between interfaces and abstract classes, and when to use which. In episode 9, we'll move to exception handling in c -sharp, another high-impact interview topic. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the .NET Way to continue your journey of mastering c -sharp. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.